Oh, hello, hello. I'm just going to wait for the audience to build a little bit. It's going to be a really, really quick live feed. Really, really quick one. So I'll just have a drink. Like I say, wait for people to jump on. When you jump on, say hi. Um, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers who are jumping on. Um, happy Mother's Day to everyone, I think. I think that's that's key today. Uh, I'm going to chat a little bit about that really soon. Um, Kyle, how are you, man? That's it. Say hi to your mums when you come on. That's a cool thing. I don't know if they'll be watching, but that's cool. Anyone else who's on there? How are you, Anna? Don't know about big boy, but I'll take that. <laughs> Definitely open for, for compliments. Definitely. Ali, how are you? Hope you're well. Oh, I don't know how everyone's been going. I'm still working through messages and everything from um, being away in Peru. Um, but I'm not going to talk too much about that. How are you, Belinda? Yes, long time. Long time. Like I say, how are you, Beckstar? Oh, happy birthday. Nah, don't worry about that. It's Mother's Day. Don't worry about that. My guns are huge. It's the camera angle. <laughs> anyway, to the point, guys, to the point. Um, firstly, it's been amazing to see on social media today. I haven't been on social media much for the last few week, weeks, um, being in the jungle of Peru, but to see all the Mother's Day stuff today, and I want to send a shout out to all the mums. I'll, I'll get to my mum in a sec, but to all the mums out there, the ones that are still here and the ones that are, that are passed on too. Tommy Walters, how are you, brother? Um, I think it's really, really important, and all the dads as well. Just, I think it's more a family day. But mums, they do have to give, they do have to give birth to us. I, I, I say that that's um, a fair effort. So, congrats to all the mums out there today. Lee, how are you, brother? But um, to my mum, really, and I put in the title there. I want to send a, a massive, massive shout out to my mum. She's probably still working. Crazy, crazy person. But that's what she does. She works so hard for the family and everything she always has. I just want to send her my love for today. I spoke to her this morning. I even held off. I flew in yesterday. I didn't speak to her yesterday. I think she was cranky, but I held off to today. Um, but like I say, I put in the title, um, my trip to Peru a lot around it. I wasn't sure what was going to come up because I have done a lot of personal work and personal growth work, but a lot of things have been coming up lately and going wrong and not going to plan and all that. And... I'll share a lot deeper tonight in the webinar at six. Um, what came up when I was in Peru a lot, and a lot was linked into my parents. A lot was linked into me having the feeling of guilt from letting him down for many, many years. Now I knew about these events. Like I said, I've done a lot of work, and I think it's I think it's really appropriate today to for me to just talk about it because I did release a lot of guilt around that while I was away. Now there's probably a lot of misconceptions and that about what happens in Peru with ayahuasca and sacred medicines and all these sorts of things. Um, it's a big reason I'm doing the webinar tonight and keeping it closed because I'm not gonna share heaps about it on social media because it's a bit of a private journey. But something that really came up for me was that the negative emotion of guilt played a massive part in holding me back, especially lately. It's something I've never really worked on. It's something I never really thought affected me um, until, until being away in that protected environment, in Peru, retreat, under the guidance of shamans, of people who know what they're doing, who have been passing this information, this knowledge down for thousands of years, to be able to get past my conscious, which protects me from this, my ego, from shutting it down, um, and to get to the core of it, and guilt was huge. So just wanted to share that today, guys, and I wanted to make you think um, we are very appreciative of our mums, our dads, our families. Legend, how are you? But I think sometimes we get caught up in just having a day for it. We get caught up in how much it affects us by by holding on to stuff when we should be more open. It's it's something that really, really does affect you. It affects you even if it's nothing to do with your parents and the situation. It'll affect you in your own families. It'll affect you around your kids, your friends relationships that are going good that turn go wrong and you can't understand why you're repeating certain things. It's because you store stuff and it could be linked into stuff that happened when you were young around your parents, letting your parents down. They always had a thing where I wanted to make my dad proud, which is cool. 
But if I didn't, if I kept stuffing up, I was so critical of myself and I felt guilty if I couldn't do things or I let, let my dad down. And it's the same with my mum. Uh, a major event happened in my world probably about nine years ago now, um, pretty close to the mark, um, where I, I OD'd on drugs and thought I got my drink spiked and all this and I ended up in hospital, did not know what I was doing, no idea. And it was probably one of the most embarrassing moments of my life because I had to get my mum to come to the hospital, my dad, all the way, they were like an hour or more away and because I didn't know what to do and then I'm like, oh, I can't face this. And I didn't really realize at the time, but coming out of that, like I never touched anything again. That really, really rocked my world bad. But I held on to a lot of guilt from that. And it's just a reminder today of, of why I, I really work on myself and I get into personal growth and everything because sometimes we're aware of certain things, but we store stuff away and guilt's been massive for me, massive over the last couple of weeks, what I've been working on releasing negative emotions. It's stuff that I actually coach on and stuff that I mentor on myself, but at the end of the day, we've got to continue to grow. I've got to continue to grow. I've got to continue to unlock this stuff that is in my unconscious, the stuff that I protect when things get vulnerable, when my guard goes up, and it's the same with you guys out there. It's a real reason I wanted to do this live feed now. Have a real think about days like today, but all along, if you hold on to stuff in your own personal life and it's linked in when you're younger, you're like you're a shit kid or whatever. No one's a shit kid. I always used to say that I was a shit kid. I always let my parents down and all this sort of stuff. It's not like that. We're learning. We're growing, especially when we're young. And we put so much pressure on ourselves when we're young. But I did this especially right through my 20s, in my 30s, and, and still to this day, if I, if I do something, I'm like, oh, I wonder what my mum and dad are going to think. And... Yeah, it's okay in an instance, but if you don't let go, if you just don't surrender and say, yeah, well, that has happened, could have been better, could have done better, guess what? You're going to lock that shit away, and you lock it away for a reason. One of the responsibilities of the, <laughs> the unconscious mind is to protect yourself, to keep you safe, and sometimes that means by not being vulnerable, keeping you in the comfort zone. So anyway, like I say, very, very short life feed. Thank you, everyone who got on. You mums out there, have an amazing day. My mum, I will see you at the end of the week. I'm in Sydney for a few days in an event. I've got the beautiful Chi Chi, my girlfriend, coming down in about two hours, which is fantastic. And like I say, I've got the webinar rolling out in about 15 minutes. If you, you haven't got the link for that, please hit me up. Send me a private inbox. Um, I'll send you the link. There's a lot of people jumping on that because I'm going to go deep into what I just touched on there about the negative emotions. More or less, what, what happened when I lost full control of my conscious, when I lost full control of what was going on in here and what actually came out of it, what I learned and how I can pass that on to you guys to make you realize that there's so much more when you get vulnerable. It's so much better. You allow so much more good in when you do let go and surrender. Surrender that. Negative emotions, we all get them. Whatever they are, from anger to sadness to guilt, whatever they are, there's a whole list of them. You've just got to surrender. Drop your ego. Shit happens. If you've got the right people around you, environment, guess what? They're going to understand in some manner or form. So you just got to know that. Long wind up. I'll keep talking. I'm getting in the zone for the webinar. But like I say, thank you, everyone. Um, I'll see you on the webinar. There's a heap of you jumping on. Haven't got the link? Hit me up. Comment in here. Um, flip me an inbox. I've just got a couple of inboxes come through there and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm sharing some stuff too, guys, that I'm not going to share anywhere else. I'm seriously not going to put it all over social media and things like that because it's a very, very personal journey. Um, even in the webinar, I'm going to hold back because there were a lot of other people there too on their own personal journeys. But I'm going to give you some gold. I'm going to give you stuff that you can take away from it. Um, you can use and I'm going to be talking about something very, very exciting at the end of how you can utilize some of the stuff I share. Yeah, awesome, Dave. Anyway, guys, see you on the webinar. I'll see you soon.